Anyway, do you know what that music is? It's a music that's usually used in shows before and in certain types of shows. <laughs> anyway, this is a very beautiful bracelet and the music that I was humming is related to the name of this bracelet. <coughs> this name, this bra, <laughs> this bracelet is called the Burlesque Bracelet. Okay, I am sure your, your jaws are dropping because this is a beautiful, 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 did I say beautiful? Beautiful bracelet! I'm so in love with it. I cannot stop making it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make another one where I'm going to be beading some of these. I just have to figure out what kind of beads because they cannot be too big. They have to be... I think when you bead, you have to do it alternately. But also, not very big. Just they look awful. Okay? Anyway, this beautiful burlesque bracelet is crea was created by the fantastic, outstanding, amazing, beautiful, and oh-so-wonderful smoky voiced Miss Adele Griffiths. Okay? I love her voice. Every time I listen to her um, video guides, it just is amazing. Okay? It's very beautiful. She sounds like an actress. Okay? So... This is the burlesque bracelet and I would really encourage you guys to pay attention because it can be very challenging but it's very beautiful and very addictive okay so you guys are gonna enjoy it okay because I am crazy about this bracelet okay anyway I'm gonna start teaching you now so well if you notice I also tried a different lock Yee, it's so easy it's so nice this one is from pandahall.com okay this lock and i will show you how to use them in one of my tutorials and i love it because you don't need to keep you don't need the c-clip anymore and i think that being able to lock it this way is also very convenient okay so let's start the first thing that you need to do is to decide what colors you want for your borders and for this particular break that i'm going to be using the blue um, it's just a royal blue. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Anyway, it's a limited edition uh, blue frost. Um, well, darker. The darker blue, not the lighter blue. But this is the darker blue. Okay, so it's the blue frost. Okay. And then I'm going to be using a luminescent. Um, this is pink and this is red. I'm thinking of using the red because I think it will come out more, much better. I can also alternate if I wanted to, but I think that's going to work. And then for inside, I'm going to be using neon pink. Why? Because if you noticed, it's actually a very nice important detail underneath which you can make as the star of your bracelet. But for this, I made the ribs the star of the bracelet and I used those colors because the burlesque just really depicts a very colorful scenery for me in my imagination. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is to start off with your border bands. And please, guys, please pay attention because you really have to hold down your bands because there's the beginning is going to be challenging. This reminds me of how challenging Komihimo was. Okay, so anyway, first you get your border bands and you start off with a cap band. I do two cap bands in case you noticed. Two, <laughs> okay, not three. <laughs> two, two, two. Two on each hand. Okay, there you go. So I get two and I create my cap band. I only use two because I want my ends to be strong. I will show you why if you notice. You know, like when you play C clips and it gets tugged all the time, tugged all the time. So actually with this one it doesn't get tugged anymore. So but I still want it strong. So you want this to be strong so that it doesn't get, you know, torn or easily broken. And you also don't want it flimsy with just one band you know, holding the entire thing. So you want it strong. So I have mine doubled and it's going to be four. So it's very strong. Okay, so <laughs> anyway, when you place your cap band, you make sure they're separated that way. And then you get your next border band. Okay, we're still at the beginning of the bracelet. And you unloop that cap band, just like that. And then you will reclaim this first side of the cap band like that me there so when you reclaim it you close it okay and you, I'm putting my finger there because I want to block this from going inside because I don't want to get confused so you can try that and then you get your next border band and you place it in your hook 
and you unloop this unloop the band that first band and loop it okay and loop that and then just hold it down and then you also unloop the cap band and I held it down because I am reclaiming it so you put back that one band that you were holding so the cap band goes underneath and then you close it okay so you're supposed to have something that looks like that or in one side of your cap band is already captured in there okay and then you get the next border band and you unloop these three Oh wait, sorry, no, not three, just two. <laughs> sorry, yeah, just unloop the two. <clears throat> okay, and then you reclaim this first one. Just reclaim it, and then close it. Ta-da! You're supposed to have something that looks like that. Okay, we will now go and turn our hook around. If you have another stick just transfer it if you have another hook then you transfer it to that other hook by just inserting it under and then transferring it if you have your double tipped hook then you will do just as i did turn it around turn around here we go again we remove the first one okay and reclaim this cap band and then you close it just keep it like that so I use my fingers to block the spaces so it doesn't get mixed up. And then we place the new border pan. We unloop that first and hold it down. And then now you unloop this cap band too. There. And then you close it. See? Oh my god, my neighbor is killing each other. The, 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 your children are killing each other again. Why don't brothers and sisters just love each other? Oh my god, why do I have to keep fighting? Okay, anyway. <laughs> so you get your next border band and you unloop these two. Okay? And then you will reclaim this outer one again. Just put it back. And then you close. So you have a total of eight bands on your hook two three four five six seven eight okay now <clears throat> pay attention listen <laughs> okay this is the part where it's going to be difficult if you do not have fingers that are relaxed and soft you will not be able to do it so try not to be so tense pulling and pulling and so hard okay just relax your hand. Have very soft hands. Okay? Now, here's what you do. So, you gently just push your bands all the way up to the side. Okay? Remember, relax your hands. Be very gentle with your bands. You know, even if they're just bands, you talk to them. And you tell them, You be cooperative, okay? You follow daddy. Okay? And they will follow you. So, you get your border... You, sorry, you get your rib colors now. Which, this is the start of the rib colors. Which are these. Okay, so I am starting with pink since I'm only using pink. I'm getting my first one and I will unloop the first three, these three. Okay, you unloop the three bands just like that. And then you hold this and pull it back a little. You will reclaim the one closest to the hook. Okay. Just like that and then push it down a bit so it doesn't get mixed up you then then i advise this is what you do because this is what i do because this can actually really fly off and really not stay in place so i hold this part down okay and then i will remove these two Bye. <laughs> okay and then you will put this back but remember to hold it down because it can fall off. See, that's what I mean. It can just easily be gone. So hold that down. And then you will get these two again at the bottom. Just these last two. Okay. And reclaim it. Oops, sorry. Put them back there. Okay. So you will notice that this is really very loose. And yes, it is like that. So just keep your hand fingers there. 
let those four sit together tightly okay because now you will get your next border band and go back to the border and unloop these four unloop those four see okay just hold it down it will stay there and what you do is you will reclaim this and this last one so you skip that first one and reclaim the second one which is this one this loose loose band this super super loose band reclaim it and this last one so you reclaim this one too reclaim there and then you close put the link okay so that will be loose just keep it there and now we will turn around that's why i really recommend a double tip hook and then we will slowly push it to the other side okay so i usually just put my hands here so that they don't move all over the place okay so now you will work with these next four well not really four but just the three there just the first three again same as the other side you will now get your next rib collar again and unloop these three okay unloop those three and same as what we did for the other side okay you will reclaim the first one hold it down remove these first two but don't change the order pa order okay and then you will put it back and then close it with these last two okay close there so now you are going to work with these four and what you need to do is to get your next border band it's actually just loose in this beginning the next steps won't be as loose anymore then you put those four there and like the first time you will reclaim this and this last one so reclaim that loose band and this last one and then you close what a okay and you're supposed to have a total of Dun, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, eleven, twelve, three, huh? Wait, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. There you go. Why was I counting thirteen? Anyway, there. So that's twelve bands. That's a lot of bands. That's a lot of bands. A lot of bands. No trouble. Okay. So that's how it looks. So now, this is a tricky part, and you really have to pay attention. Okay. The tricky part is not yet over. Okay. You get your inner color now the gold that you see is going to be my fuchsia fuchsia okay that is going in between so you might want to choose something because this time i'm gonna make my sensor the highlight the ribs here are the highlight and for this new one we're doing the center the gold is the highlight so i want it to stick out and really be the star okay so you place that on your hook and you will unloop one two three four five six seven eight nine except these except the last three anyway i'll show you but it's not these last three it's this three blues this last three i will show you how okay but just so you're not confused i will just show you what to do okay so what you unloop are one two three okay four um uh, four can you please unloop yourself okay four <laughs> and then five and then six and seven and then eight and this is the tricky part don't forget this nine is the one band you skip this one and this is the ninth okay there Okay, so what happened is that we crossed these two in the end. Okay, so that those are the ones that you unloop. So you have a total of nine bands on here, and you have the three blue bands left on this side. And please don't forget that this order has to be always like that, because it has a tendency to be like this. It's wrong. The one inside should be on the outside. So you always check that, because otherwise the pattern will get screwed up. 
Okay, hold on. There. So we have a total of nine, right? Now, here's the tricky part that you really have to look. Even I am challenged with this the first time I was challenged. What you need to do is to pick up between these two, you have to pick up the one inside. So look, here you go on top of this first one and pick up this one. Okay, pick up that one. You ignore the next two and you will pick this up, this one. Okay, now here is where you have to pay attention really well. You have these two bands and these two have to cross because you will get this blue band right here, this one. You have to get this, okay? So what you do is you get your hook to pick this up and just cross it over. Cross it over and then, hold on, this is tricky. I really wanna show you on camera well, but it's hard on camera. Okay, so you pick this up. Because we only have two hands, so it's gonna be hard, right? So you pick this up. Yeesh. Okay, and then you go under and pick up that band. It's a bit tricky, but you have to make sure you're picking up the right one. See? And you will know you're picking up the right one because it is the continuation of this first band. That is going all the way. Look at it. There. So it should be this first one. But this first one at the end. This one. This is what you're picking up. That and that. This they're the same band so you know you're picking up the right band okay see it's the same band and when you pick that up okay you will also pick up these next two so you go and get those two and then you close it okay looks like a mess right okay so once you've done all that you now need to move these two because this one has to be the fourth band. So you move these two over. Okay. And you move this one over as well. And then here, you will move it to the center. So what you should have are three border bands. The center color. And then the rib colors. See? So it's just a matter of rearranging it. So the order you should have is like that. Three border bands on each side, your two center colors, and then the rib colors right here. Okay? Don't worry, I will repeat it. I know. <laughs> it's only it's been 17 minutes and we've only done one segment. Ha ha! <laughs> okay, so we will go back to the beginning. And this is now the beginning of the pattern. We have just begun. This is like a movie. It's a very long trailer in the beginning. And then before you know it, what? It's only the credits? Okay. <laughs> it's the intro credits. And so now the movie starts. <laughs> okay. So, step one. You will get your rib colors. One and two. One on each side. And then you will also prepare your border colors. One on each side. Just like that. So the sequence is two rib collars, two border collars, and one center collar. That is what you will do as a pattern. Okay? Rib collars, border collars, center collar. Okay. Let's start. You will get your rib collar. And this time, it's not just three. You will now unloop four because it now involves the center collar. So you will unloop these four bands on that rib collar. Two, three, four. It's challenging, right? <laughs> Sabi nga nila, kakaloka. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> what I just said is a Filipino word. that is it's like an expression of exasperation for certain, for some women in the Philippines. When they're going mad and it's like driving them nuts, you're gonna say, nakakaloka. Okay, so anyway, here we go. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of Filipinos are going crazy with what I just said. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I'm so nuts. Okay, so now we've unlooped it on that um, rib collar. We will reclaim all four bands, but in a different way. So, you will reclaim the first two, just like that. And then, like I said earlier, you hold it down. Then you will re 
remove these first two and then put it back like that and then reclaim these two so you have a total of five bands now okay then just keep holding it down you will now work with these four you get your border and unloop these four okay and then reclaim these two sticking up it's actually gonna be easy all you have to do is you just look at which her which <laughs> which her sticking sticking out and it's gonna be those two and those are the two you need to reclaim so you need to put those two back on the hook the first and the third well first from outside so first second and then you have the third so it's the first and the third close it and then you close it again Ta -da! and then you just go and push it to the other side and do the other side you work with the first four always the first four so you work with the first four and then after you do the next sequence it's the first four again so I'll show you here get your rib collar okay oh wait look at what happened here this is wrong okay in case this happens to you always it's not straight that way this one the long one should be inside so you're supposed to fix that by switching them there okay the long one should always be inside and the short one should be outside so that now is the correct arrangement okay so it's always like inward waves okay so you get your rib color and you unloop these four okay and then you reclaim the first two i'm sorry i got interrupted by a phone call <laughs> so we were reclaiming these two so now we remove these two again okay then pop it right back usually it pops on it but that pops back by itself and then you close it with those two again okay so as i said we work with the first four and now we're working with the first four again Okay, so you don't, you don't get confused. It's always first four, first four. Okay, then you get your next border color again and unloop these four. Yada! And you will reclaim the two sticking up. That and this one. And then you close. Da da! See? so excited because this bracelet is really so beautiful oh my god okay so now you get your center collar and you watch carefully again like i said you will unloop the first three let me just there and then you will unloop this one and then unloop all of those three and also this one followed by these two okay every time you get to this point of the last four bands you stop because you will not unloop this you will unloop this one the rib color so just take note you should always have three border bands here left okay it's just that simple and now here comes the somehow that tricky part you will pick up from the four that you see in the center you will pick up the last the ones outside okay from those four rib colors so you will ignore the first two and just pick up this one the third one ignore the next two and pick up this next one okay now this is the challenging part and if you want you can somehow hold your hook towards your own hand and then just switch these two because if you're not good at picking it up then you'll have a hard time so what you do is you can switch these two that might be easier yeah okay and then when you switch those you can now pick up these three blues or border colors whatever you used see that's another style and then you close it then 
you will move these three bands again over because these this pink has to be here so you just move scoot them over there and now it's arranged again Whee! oh my god it's starting to form wah, 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 wah. okay see I love it oh the colors are interesting very burlesque burlesque okay there you go we will do it one more time for those who are still a bit confused so you will get two of your rib colors again two rib colors two border colors and one sensei color okay so that starts over we are working with the first four as i mentioned it's always the first four so get your first rib color and loop these four bands okay and then you will pick up the first two just like that oops there okay first two and then you will remove this let it pop up like that and then place it back push it down so it doesn't get off and then you reclaim the last two and now we will work with the first four again so you move this out of the way there and you will work with these four let's just try to move that okay there so these four again and now you work with your border color so you get those and then loop these four see and then those two sticking out will be the ones you will reclaim so you just reclaim those two and then you close it Ta -da! okay and we scoot over to the other side again And then we work with these four again. You get your rib color. Ooh, look, it switched again. Always does that, so you have to really watch it. So you have to remember the long band here has to be inside, so you have to switch that back again. Just like this. There. Ah, that's why you have to pay attention to wear your bands are all the time because it will just be so irritating if you have to repeat the entire thing again so you unloop these four and you wouldn't want to repeat reclaim the first two and then remove these two put it back pop it right back and reclaim those last two and then you just get another bow the band and dark with those four unloop those four and reclaim the two sticking out just like that and then you close it ta-da it is so exciting okay these nice colors then you get your center color and you unloop all of those you see so far just keep unlooping we will arrange it later you will unloop all the way up to the pink okay just remember you will stop at the four bands and unloop this one band that is like out of place that is the only one you will unloop so let it cross over everything and let three bands stay the three border bands now you will pick up usually they stick out also see those two that you need to pick up they stick out so they're like right there so pick those two up okay one oops can you like go to the hook <laughs> there and this one's sticking out as well okay and as i mentioned earlier if you're having a hard time picking it out and crossing it over you can hold your hook here and then Oops, sorry hold your hook down there and then just switch these two switch those two okay just like that so that the blue sticks out there and then now you will pick up the three and close it 
And now comes the switch again. You bring the fuchsia here, so you switch over those two bands and this one band here. And there. And now it's arranged again. Oh my god, here comes arranged again. Okay. That is so cool. Don't you just love how the pink sticks out there? And it gives like a completely different look. See? There's, there are different ways to play around with this. And you can like slow, use so many colors. Oh my god. Okay. So, once again, for those who are still confused, you will get two of your rib colors. Two of your water bands and one sensor color. Okay, that's how it works. So, just move it a bit so that you don't get distracted. Okay, so you get. Ha! Huh, I got cut again! <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to get bigger memory. My phone just can only accommodate, can only accommodate a certain number of videos. Anyway, so. The next one that we need to do is to start over. So, again, you work with the first four, get your rib color, and then unloop these four. I'm super loving this bracelet, oh my god. Reclaim the first two, hold this down, and then remove the first two to let go of that rib color, and let it pop right up back on the hook and then you close it with those two and now you work with the next four again so first four you go back to your border color you unloop the four let me just move this okay there and loop these four bands there and the two that you need to reclaim are sticking out anyway so you reclaim that and this last one and then you close it just like that and we work on the other side okay go to the other side and now we work with those four those first four again you get your rib color and unloop these four Okay, reclaim the first two and then you remove these two Pink. and then you let it go back on the hook, hold it down and replace those two. Okay, and then you will work with the first four again. Then you get your bow decoder and undo these four see and you reclaim reclaim the two bands sticking out the first and the third so this is the third and this is the first so you reclaim those and then you close Ta -da! and we go back to the center color you unloop everything, almost everything, all the way to the last. Do you leave the last tree? Unloop. You unloop and unloop and unloop and loop and loop. Okay. There. And then you get this and just leave your border colors on there. There. So you have three again. And then you will now reclaim those two in the middle. Okay next to the two middle ones so it's going to be one two three and six i think okay anyway you see them they're sticking out so you leave those two in the middle and just pick up those two beside it so those are this this one and that one see so you leave those two under there and then you can try to just Pick it up with your hook, just move it out of the way, just pull pull this like that, and then pull it out. Anyway, it might be hard for you because it's usually hook some things. Okay, so you just pull this and then let it switch with that. 
It's a bit. Yeah. There. Rawr. Okay. <laughs> so there. All you have to do now is to just push your hook down and reclaim those three blues. And close it with the food shell. And then you switch those three over. There. And this. Ta ta! It is so cool! Okay. Shall we do it one more time? Okay. It's gonna take forever if ever that I finish. It actually takes quite a long time to make this. So you guys just be patient because you are going to love it so much. Because I love it. I think I'm going to make so much more. Okay, so we'll do it one more time before we show you how to close it. So you will be doing getting two more of your rib colors, two more of your border bands, and a center color. Center color. Okay? So you get your rib color, place it on your hook, and you unloop these four. Okay, you reclaim the first two closer to the hook, and you release the rib color and let it pop right up. Okay, and you reclaim these last two, just like that. Okay, and now you would work with your next four bands. Okay, then get your border color, border color, border color, and then you unloop those four bands, and you pick up these two sticking out, and you close it. Okay, and now you're ready to do the other side. You just shimmy it over the other side and turn your hook around and you work with this first four again and you see it's switched again so you have to make sure to correct that this long band has to be inside like that okay you'll see because the pattern shows that it goes inwards okay so you unloop those four again you reclaim the first two, just like that. Come here. There you go. Oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> okay, let's repeat that. My just fell off. Okay, again. And loop those four. And you reclaim the first two, just like that. You release it and let it pop right back on the hook and you close it. Then we work with the next four. Get your border band and you unloop those four. And then you pick up the first and the third and you close it. <coughs> See? It's so pretty. I like the color. I like the color a lot. Okay? And then you will now get your center color and you will unloop all of the bands until you arrive at the last four. Okay, just keep on looping there. When you arrive at the last four, you unloop the second and not the border bands. So it's the rib color. Okay? And now we will reclaim those two sticking out right in the center, those two. Okay, so you pick up this one and that one. See? And now we will switch these two again. So you just have to hold your hook down here and switch these two again. Just pull it, don't worry, it won't go anywhere. There. And then now you will pick up those three blue bands, border bands, and close it. And now it's time to scoot over the pink and place it in the center, the side, the rib colors. And there you have it. Ta da! Isn't it so cool? Oh my god!
Okay, I love it so much. Okay, so now is the time to close the bracelet. And the way that I see it, I would love to get these bracelets just to... So anyway, you just have to go all the way up. It doesn't change the steps when you finish your bracelet. Just keep going up, okay? So what I'd like to do is to get a band in the center to close this and here. So again, you get them all together there. What I want to do is I will get one band, a blue band, remove this first two with it. This is too close already, okay? And then you just unloop all of these. Just unloop. Okay, hold on, where you go? There. This one in the center, those two, and then followed by those two again, and the last one. And then you close it. Okay. See? Then, what I like to do, because I like to make it look tight, a bit tighter, I switch this over, these two, I switch these two over, okay, and I remove this so that they get in there, see, okay, it's a bit of a hole, but, but that's okay, I don't really get, not really bothered by it, then you go to the other side, and I again switch these over so that they get inside there and then I release them again. So now it looks much tighter. See? Isn't it good? Okay. Adele had a different ending, <laughs> but I kind of want these pinks tight in there. Okay. So that's basically how to make this bracelet it's really a long bracelet to make so I don't want you guys to get bored just watching me make it but I am sure once you start making it you guys are gonna go crazy because it just looks so freaking good <laughs> it's just the most handsome bracelet I've seen I think handsome because there's details that are just so beautiful to look at and at the same time it's just so neat it's so flat and it's so organized and it's so versatile that you can play around with so much ideas and you can even beat it. I am going to beat one of these babies and you are going to see it when I post it. Okay, so this is the burlesque or the burlesque burlesque or burlesque bracelet created by the super talented amazing Adele Dot Griffiths on Instagram. So when you make the bracelet, please don't forget to hashtag burlesque uh, Jace Alvarez burlesque bracelet and Adele.Griffiths on uh, because we would love to see your editions. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you'll be able to get it because I would really love to see this bracelet recreated so much. Okay, so I'll see you in my next tutorial and let me know if you have any questions. Please like the video, okay, and comment in the box below. Bye!